What is up guys, Rick Hack is here, and I frankly did not think I would be making a video like this today. I came out with the Black Ops 3 BRM Light Machine Gun Gold Guide, which you guys should check out. It's a really detailed guide, a lot of work goes into those. And I thought I would just be able to relax, you know, I'm finally done exams for university, so I thought I would just be able to hang out and chill. And then this topic came up, and originally I didn't really care about this topic, I thought it was just something that was a little bit silly. But then I started to think about it a little bit more, and I started to look at it from a couple of different angles, and I realized, shit, this is a massive issue. This isn't something that's just minor. A lot of people are not going to be thinking about it the same way that I was. I guarantee when you guys watch this video, this is going to be the first time you thought of it this way, but this is so much more egregious than most people are taking it, and that's why I have to make a video for you guys. I have to keep you guys informed and in the loop, and on Cacus HD, there's no bullshit, so let's get started. So today, randomly, what shows up in the PlayStation Store is what you're seeing on screen right now. You can go and buy Hunter Pack, Titan Pack, Warlock Pack, and what it comes with is it levels your character up to 25 instantly, comes with a subclass boost, which I can only assume uh, levels up a subclass either all the way or at least partially of the way, so you get the Titan Pack, you level up 25, and you want to level up your Defender quite a bit, you can do that, and it comes with some telemetries as well, so it's a way to, you know, presumably help new players who have just purchased the game kind of get a head start and, you know, be able to play with their friends as quickly as possible. This kind of makes sense for the upcoming Christmas season. There's going to be a lot of new players buying Destiny. Now, this type of DLC, just as a concept, isn't that bad of a thing. Battlefield did it as well, with Battlefield 3 and I think 4 as well, and they just had it so that you could level up your engineer kit all the way, for example, you would just buy it, it was 10 bucks I think, and you would just get all of the engineer unlocks. Now again, that wasn't that horrible of a thing, some people were pretty outraged about it, but that's just how business works. You give people the option to buy something, I mean, I'm not gonna pretend like I have a say over how people spend their money, that's your personal decision. And with Battlefield, it actually kinda did make sense, like Battlefield was pretty cheap at that point, you could pick it up uh, pretty inexpensively, and if you were new to Battlefield, and you were just getting wrecked by the 100 colonels who would just fly around with the helicopter and never miss a shot, yeah, you might want to level up your engineer kit, get some anti-vehicle launchers, and actually give yourself a chance to survive. It really wasn't that horrible of an idea in my opinion. Alright, so why are we even talking about this DLC then? Why is this even a big issue? Well, let's scroll the image over and look at the actual price. 45 bucks! for this DLC. That is absolutely insane. That's basically the price of the game itself. Now, like I said before, I'm not in charge of how other people spend their money, and I can't determine how other people view value. So, if someone else thinks that it's worth the price and they buy it, that's their own personal decision. But in all honesty, who out of any of us watching this video would buy this DLC? Probably none of us. Even if you didn't have a Warlock, there's no way you're gonna buy this pack because any Destiny vet knows that getting from 0 to 25 really doesn't take that long. You can do it in less than a day. In addition, if you actually buy the Taken King or buy the Destiny Legendary Edition which comes with the Taken King, you get that free like ball of light or whatever it's called that automatically levels up a character from 0 to 25. Like you automatically get that just for purchasing the Taken King, which again makes this DLC even more ridiculously overpriced. So again, every Destiny vet, pretty much all of you watching this video right now, knows that this is just outrageously overpriced and none of us would ever buy it. Which begs the question and kind of made me think, well, if none of us would buy it, if no one in their right mind would buy it, who is gonna buy it? Who is this targeted towards? Now guys, the reason you should be concerned about this is that this is a deliberate attempt by Bungie and or Activision to prey upon new and especially younger Destiny players. This is an outright scam. 
Honestly, think about it. Christmas is coming out, tons of kids are going to be getting presents and they're going to be asking for video games, so a lot of new, especially younger players, are going to be entering Destiny. Heck, remember, Destiny is rated T for teen, so it appeals to a very wide, very young audience. Now we've all heard those news stories where some kid, some 8 year old kid is playing an iPad that his parents have or something and he runs up a bill of like $500 in microtransactions and his parents are just left with the expense. Now when you're that young, when you're like under 10 years old, you don't really have a huge grasp on the concept of money, of value. You know, you're having fun in that iPad game and you just have no idea that you've run up such a massive bill. It asks you, hey, do you want to get more bonuses, more upgrades? And you're kind of just thinking, yeah, sure, I'm having fun, I'm in the moment. And again, you don't really, you can't really add up a $1.99, $1.99, you're just too young to realize those kind of concepts. How disgusting is it that Bungie Vision is actually counting on that concept to sell these DLC packs? Because honestly, think about it, those are the only people who are going to purchase this DLC. All of us watching this video know this is overpriced. The only people who are going to buy this DLC is the extremely young new players to Destiny who just want to play with their friends. They maybe haven't even been to the tower yet. They have their parents' credit card on their PlayStation 4 and they buy this DLC because they just want to play with their friends. Again, realistically and logically, those are the only people who are going to buy this DLC. And that's just insane, like you're ripping off your newest customers. You just buy the game, you're excited to get Destiny, and then you purchase this DLC, because again, you're young, you have your parents' credit card, you want to play with your friends, and then a couple weeks later, maybe a month later, when your parents are screaming at you because they got the credit card bill, do you realize, holy shit, I've had this game for a month, and Bungie is already ripping me off. Like imagine the young kids who buy Destiny and then buy one of these upgrade packs just to then go to the tower and realize they had one for free essentially. Like that's insane. This is frankly pretty unbelievable corporate greed and this is coming from someone who like I'm a business major in university I, I am the corporate greed and this is like blows my mind like pr just preying on younger players who don't know any better because they, it's so overpriced again I, I just want to make the point it's so overpriced anyone who knows anything about destiny knows this isn't worth it so who is it for like think about that if, if you disagree with me if you think there's no way that Bungie would actually go and target young players who don't know any better, who have their parents' credit cards, who just buy one of those DLCs, think about it. Who else other than them would ever buy this DLC besides like unbelievably rich kids who frankly, who cares what they do anyways? Like this is just so insane to me. And again, it took me a while to realize just how bad and how egregious this kind of shit is. Now I just want to say before I end the video, if you know, if your, you know, younger cousin or whatever gets Destiny for Christmas, which if you're getting Destiny for the first time, if you're getting the Legendary Edition, that's not even like, that's a good deal. Getting the Legendary Edition, getting all of the DLCs and the base game for Destiny, I totally understand why people would buy that. Destiny isn't a terrible, terrible game, especially the Legendary Edition. But just make sure if your younger cousin, your younger brother, if, you know, a younger family friend gets Destiny for Christmas make sure go out of your way to tell them make sure they don't buy one of these DLCs because it is a blatant ripoff now that's it for the video please remember to rate and share this video especially if you want this video to get big enough so that Bungie sees it and if you want to keep up with the almost sitcom level of ridiculousness that's going on with Bungie right now hit that subscribe button now, if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can follow as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day. Why does new Destiny content get so stale so quickly and suddenly? Why do new weapons introduced always feel lackluster when compared to the weapons of old? Why is the Crucible constantly unbalanced, and even so you can only use a few weapons of Destiny's massive arsenal if you want to be competitive? All of these problems and more again derive from the fact that Destiny's gun system is broken.